Go. Hi, I'm Willis Salvi with ForestHillStudios.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a... Smash! Joe, man. What's going on? I thought we were going to do this tutorial. Smash! Joe. Oh. Wow. That was horrifying. That was the scariest monster. I mean, the most terrifying creature I have ever seen give an introduction to a tutorial. And the giant smashing up the city in the background... <laughs> that was pretty scary, too. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That was Willis Alvey giving his debut performance here at Forest Hill Studios. And he did a great job. It was probably 15 degrees outside when we shot that day. And everybody was freezing. I mean, it's hard to work when it's that cold. And Willis did great under pressure. Let's go ahead and go into After Effects. We're going to create a new comp, composition, new composition. We're going to use an NTSC DV widescreen preset of 720 by 480 with a widescreen pixel aspect ratio. We'll leave our frame rate at 29.97 and a timeline duration of 10 seconds. We'll hit OK. Let's go to File and Import File. and We're going to import our two video clips of our green screen footage and our shot on the street. I'm going to drag the street footage into our timeline, or you can actually just drag it right into your comp right here. Boom. And it will apply itself to your timeline automatically. For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and cut to a wide shot, and we're going to start here. I want to trim the beginning of this video up. So to do that, After Effects makes it really easy. Just go to the beginning, and you can drag to the marker. You're not actually dragging your video, you're trimming either the beginning or end of your footage. Super easy. So let's go to frame one, right here, the beginning of our timeline. And I'll explain how this works. We have a shot of Willis, or Willie, in front of the green screen, doing his scary monster thing. And we want to put that in the background, behind this building. To do that, we're going to need to track the motion of the camera. Because we didn't use a tripod, we shot this with a handheld camera. The camera is moving, it shakes, and it's not steady. So we want our monster to be still fixed in place behind this building like it would be if you were actually on the street. After Effects makes it easy for us with an option called Track Motion or a Motion Tracker. If you don't see your tracker window, change your workspace to motion tracking. Really simple, just click the drop down and click on motion tracking. For motion tracker to work, you need to pick an area of high contrast. Uh, it's something dark, something really bright, or an object that is just, you know, silhouetted, uh, like from the sky. Uh, something that would work in this video would be this light post. The reason we can't use this light post is because he actually goes in front of it and it goes out of frame. So the light post wouldn't work. We need to pick something in our video clip that is constant, something that isn't covered up or isn't shot out of frame. A really good reference point here is this little dark spot above the window. So let's hit track motion and we'll get a track point, track point one. We need to move our track point one so that it right over this little dark thingy over the window. I don't know what it is. Let's zoom in. We'll enlarge our track point just a little bit. We don't want to get too big because then rendering will be a beast. That looks pretty good. I was not on the first frame. Make sure you're on the first frame. Are you really going to mess some stuff up? I'm going to go back and put it right over this dark thingy here. All right, if you want to test your motion or your track point, uh, hit the play button and we'll go ahead and analyze it, make sure it works. It's tracking very, very well. You can see how it's staying with our little dark thing above the window. That works perfectly. That works perfectly. Before we actually apply this, we're going to need to edit our target. The motion tracker 
applies the data somewhere. And we can't do this on our street layer. We have to create a null object layer. To do that, we right click down here, hit new and click on null object. Now that we have a null object, we can apply all our motion tracking data to this layer and then link our green screen video to our null object. Let's go back here, edit the target, make sure the motion is applied to our null object layer. We hit OK and let's apply it. Hit OK. All right. So frame by frame, After Effects went through the video and applied our null object to the corner of our went the little dark thingy above there. Let's check it. That's pretty good. Not too bad. All right. Next step, we're going to take our green screen footage and let's go ahead and create a new comp with our green screen footage by dragging it into the new comp button right here all right an easy way to key out green or to get rid of the green behind Willie is to select the video clip we're gonna change our workspace to effects so we can see the effects that we apply on this. Let's go to effect, keying, and we'll go to color key. Select the eyedropper and just select the color, which is obviously green. Under our color tolerance, we'll just bump that up a little bit. Uh, let's go to 20. I like even numbers. Let's feather it out a little bit. Mm, four. All right, cool. Let's duplicate this. Hold down Control or Command, hit D, and uh, select another color. Boom. Let's duplicate it one more time, and select another color. All right. I'm gonna minimize those. The reason we're doing this is After Effects has trouble rendering out keying or keying out green uh, green screen we want to make this as easy as possible so we can edit in our timeline really easy so and you know scrub back and forth now that we've duplicated this three or four times we're gonna go back into effects keying and grab our key light key light is fantastic and we'll try to key out the rest of our green you may have to bump up the black under the screen mat Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little screen blur right here. All right, let's go back into our comp. And we'll drag our green screen comp into the comp one. Not too bad. Now we need to actually position him. Obviously, we need to scale it down. An easy way to do this is to select our green screen layer and hit S. There, we get a scale option. 